In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a really cute car and truck themed cake design. And we're also going to be carving away just a little bit of cake from our tier to give it a spiral look so that we can have the cars driving down the road and around the cake. Today's cake is a four layer, eight inch tier. And right now I'm using a food coloring pen to map out where I will be doing my carving. So this is gonna give us a really rough idea of the starting and stopping point of our slope as well as how steep it will be. So what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna take my knife that I'm going to be carving with. I've marked off at the one and a half inch mark with a food coloring pen so that I know about how deep into the cake I'm going to be cutting. Um, because the road that we're going to make is going to be about an inch and a half wide. So this is just a really easy way to keep track of the cutting. Once I've cut across the front of the cake, I'm then going to go in and mark using my food coloring pen again around the top edge of the cake. Again, we're just going about an inch and a half from the edge of the cake. And doing this step is going to take some of the guesswork out of our carving a little bit later. Okay, so now it's time to do a little bit of cutting on the top of the cake. So I am just going to kind of connect the dots that we've made with our food coloring pen. And this is all just to make it a lot simpler when we're actually cutting out the cake um, and creating that slope. So here is my first cut. And as you can see, that's going to be the most shallow cut. I only cut about as deep as the first layer. And when I'm making my vertical cut, I'm just keeping an eye on the black mark that I made on the front of the cake so that I know how far down to cut. And I just find it simpler to go bit by bit. So I'm kind of doing the removal in sections. And you're going to have some cleanup to do as you work, and that's fine. Um, but the cuts that we made earlier are working really well. So as you can see already, you can kind of make out where our little road is going to fall. Okay, so again, I'm making another cut and I needed to make it a little bit of a deeper cut on top. So that's what I'm doing here. It didn't go down quite as low as I needed it to. And then again, I'm using the marking on the front to tell me how far down I need to cut. So we're gonna go a little bit further. Okay, and I'm just continuing with removing small pieces at a time. And at any point, you could stop. Um, I'm going to remove just one small section more, just so I can get a little more length out of our spiral. But at this point, it's up to you when you want to stop. We're pretty close uh, to being finished. And now you can see I'm left with a pretty sharp corner. So I want to round that out just to make it look nicer. So I'm just shaving off that corner, give it more of a rounded look. It almost looks like an oval if you're looking at it from the top. Now we're ready for our crumb coats. So whenever I'm carving and the cake is kind of crumbly, I think it's easiest to pipe on your buttercream for the crumb coat and then go in and spread it with a spatula and remove all of that excess frosting. So that's what I'm doing here. And then just as usual, go in with your spatula and just cover the entire cake in buttercream. I always start out with a slightly thicker layer and then I go back in and remove all of that excess so I have a nice thin crumb coat. Here I'm adding a second coat of frosting. This is my final coat of frosting. And I'm doing this on top of a chilled layer of buttercream. So what I like to do is chill my crumb coated cake. And then once the buttercream has firmed up, 
after maybe 15 or 20 minutes in the freezer, I go back in and frost over it. Um, in this case with our buttercream that's tinted sky blue. And go ahead and get it as smooth as you can. Then what I like to do is freeze it once again for about 15 minutes to firm it up. And that way I can go back in and smooth over it uh, with a hot spatula. So you can see I've got my very hot water in a glass and I just heat my spatula, dry it off, and just kind of glide over any of the imperfections. And so there's more than one way you can go about smoothing your buttercream. This is just the method that I often do. Okay, so I have moved my cake to the cake pedestal and now we are gonna add the road to the spiral. So um, for that, I'm just using some gray fondant with a little bit of Tylose kneaded into it. And I'm gonna make my road about one inch width and I'm gonna use a fondant ribbon cutter for that, but you could also just do it by hand. And I need about 14 inches worth of length because I held my tape measure up to the spiral. That's about what it was. So let's just see how this goes. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are gonna add a grass border at least to one side of the road. Um, And I'm just going to kind of wind it around. I'm letting it get pretty close to the cake because my cars are going to be actually attached to the cake. So I don't want there to be a, too much of a space. It's also a good idea to do this step when the cake is chilled because that way if you need to adjust anything, it's more easy to do. Okay, so let me cut off some of this length. I might wrap it around or I might not. And also, if you have a little gap where your cake ends and then just a little bit of space where the cardboard cake circle is beneath it, you can add a little frosting. That's what I did so that it would be completely smooth when I laid the ribbon of fondant over it. Okay, so we'll just leave it like this for now. I might trim it a little bit more. Uh, or wind it around the cake. We'll just look at it for a second, but that's all there. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going in with my grass tip and my buttercream that has been tinted with leaf green, and I'm just piping grass along the side of our road. Of course, just apply pressure and pull up until it's the length that you like, and then release the pressure. Um, so I'm going to follow that all the way to the top, and then. On the other side of the road, I'm just using a small round tip here uh, just to pipe grass because I had less space. Okay, so now we are working on the car. I have my car template and I have my red fondant with a little Tylos kneaded into it. I'm just gonna cut it out. And by the way, the fondant is about, uh, probably a little less than a fourth of an inch thickness. And then just neaten up your cut out as needed. And then for the windows, the easiest way for me was to just use a small round cutter. And then once you cut out that small round circle of fondant, you'll just cut that in half and cut it in half again. And then that just gives us really quick and easy sort of cartoonish windows. So I'm just gonna attach these with a little bit of piping gel. Or you can use your uh, food safe glue of choice. And for the tires, I'm using a 2D piping tip, any large piping tip will do, to cut out my circles the black uh, fondant tires. And then we'll just add those with a little piping gel. Then I use a regular size piping tip, um, the round end of it, to give me slightly smaller circles that we're gonna layer on. And then finally, I'm just rolling 
my red fondant into a ball and we're just gonna put that in the middle of each tire or you could use sprinkles for that as well. Okay, next up is our truck. I cut out my truck shape just as I did with a car and then I just layered on that blue section. And once again, we're doing the tires just as we did with our car. Uh, cut out with a 2D piping tip. And then just a small square window. A good way to make sure that the little balls of fondant are the exact same size is to use uh, piping tip 12 to cut out a small circle and then roll it into a ball. Um, so that's just a little tip if you ever want to do it that way. And now I'm just layering on some yellow circles cut out with a tip 12 onto our truck. And then I'm just giving it a little bit of white trim. Next, I'm going to show you really easily how to do um, our little traffic lights. So I'm just using two strips of black fondant with Tylos kneaded into it. And just make sure that they're the same size. Um, and then I'm gonna use my medium size round tip 12 to cut out the red, yellow, and green lights. And again, we're just using piping gel for our glue. But this just gives us a little bit of color and it's just a fun detail for the cake. Okay, I wanted to show you, I decided to let the road extend off the front of the pedestal and then I added another strip of road to the back. So we do have a little seam there, but it won't be noticeable uh, once we've added our cars. I just let that go all the way around just to give it more of a spiral appearance and it gives us more road to work with so that we can add even more cars. And you're just gonna start sticking on all of your little fondant accents using a little fresh buttercream as your glue. You can see mine are still soft if you wanna make your cars in advance so that they'll be firm, that's another option. And then of course I added the stoplights here and there. And also I added some clouds just using a round tip 12, just little balls of buttercream. Okay, and now I'm just adding additional uh, grass for more color and just pipe as much as you like. I took mine all the way around and I think it looks really cute. Okay, so now I'm using a small tip three just to add uh, little handles to the cars. That's just an optional little detail. But super quick and easy. And I also decided to finish things off with a small bead border on top. Uh, again with a tip three, uh, this time with our blue buttercream. Okay, so our cake is finished. I think it came out really cute. Just wanted to add that I did put a cake topper on top. I just have a gum paste three that I had cut out and allowed to dry. Um, like you've seen me do many times before, once it's dry, you can attach a lollipop stick to the back with a little candy melt. And even if you wanted to, a little strip of gum paste in a matching color if you wanted it to look more uniform in the back. Um, and then just sprinkles everywhere, sprinkles on top. I also added sprinkles to the number three with piping gel. And I also had some little yellow sprinkles. These just happen to be oval, but you could also use round or you could do uh, your little headlights with fondant or gum paste, but just as a quick little additional detail. Okay, so thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.